What's up guys, Exoth here, and today we're looking at the patch notes for patch 5.12. We will also be doing the patch notes review later for those of you who want the shorter version, but if you want the full version, that starts right now. I hope the audio levels are fine this time. I tried to adjust it, it should be better. We'll see if they get their audio levels in check as well, obviously. And I'm probably gonna go on my headphones just to make sure it doesn't get louder here. Starting off pretty strong with Baroness Izanami. That definitely looks cool already. I like that. And... Oh, that's in your Parskin. I've also already seen that. Also very cool. Very, very cool, actually. I think that's my new favorite at Parskin. And we know that this one is gonna be good because we've already seen it. That's the Daji skin, which... Damn, it looks like Sombra all the way, and it looks cool as well. So, skin-wise, we are at a very good start here, I would say. Welcome in, everybody. It's the 5.12 update show. I'll be okay, it's, it looks like the volume is good. I hope, update, it's gonna be a good I hope that's true. Let's be real. They're all good ones. Including in good one patches, like this one, you'll have bug fixes, new item fixes, god balance changes, alongside those item balance changes, and of course some of the new skins, which you just got a preview of right there. And let's start right there. First skin that we want to preview for you guys is Primal Fire Ares. Wait, I didn't even one see that one. Huh. Real nice, by the way. A little bit of uh, a little bit of detail on this one. That Interesting that they would release that and then have Ares in the Later tier five competition as well. But show. usually you can get, go more in depth in these skins after the balance section. That so does exactly what you look have. pretty nice. This one, this is Fire I can actually up, show you a little more. Look familiar? Kind of does to me. A little, <laughs> bit, of a, a little bit of a nod towards a certain, a certain Baron. Zombie, our newest god here in Smite. And I like it. This skin, there alongside the next two, will be part of the Divine Uprising. Definitely looks cool, though. I like that style. You grab these up and you'll work your way towards an awesome. Even if they may be like skin. doubling some of the assets there. The Divine Uprising. And I know it's. That, I know what it zoomed in on there at that very moment. It's not what I meant. I meant they're using, they're reusing the assets now. That came off very wrong, but oh well. <laughs> show went live and this skin is amazing already one of my favorites in this the game. i agree you gotta play op wash i agree this skin is amazing 100 percent. oh man i can't wait to show you guys all the ability effects it has a um, i'm not even sure what it refers to most but again this one it looks very cool of the divine uprising event this one the uh, the namesake or the 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 front runner for this update cyber shadow going alongside that Shadow Spirit Oplosh. They're one, uh, really doubling cool. a lot of the assets today. <clears throat> You're going to want to stick around for the ultimate. Trust but the skin looks right. super cool. So that does it for the little preview. I, I love Sombra, so hey. In depth on, on the voice lines and what the effects look like. We're going to be doing that in just a little bit. But before that, let's throw it over to Hindu Man and the illustrious Pon Pon as they go over bugs and balance. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just Hindu. He's oh, that's quick. Okay. That was very that's quick. Fun. Uh, it's pretty good. I'm recovering from being sick for the last two weeks. So oh, well, you can still hear that. He's very quiet now. That's unfortunate. Yep, what do we do about on. that? Let's get things underway and we'll start things off with some bug fixes. Uh, this week, first of all, gods should no longer fly into the air and die if they become stuck inside walls. Now gods should find the... Okay, I hope the volume is fine now on them. I'll read just later. There ...if they somehow do end up in a wall. Yes, so this is a long-standing smite issue it that's really is. existed. It's crazy that they actually like, fixed that completely, apparently. ...if they got caught in collision... The server wow. might disagree and they go flying up to the air. Yeah. Um, we made a fix in 5.11 to, to solve some of these issues, but in 5.12... Okay, Hyrus. We're doing even more fixes to make it now that it will try and find the nearest valid location. And so this fixes certain characters like Chernabog, especially, uh, was the main culprit here. Fenrir also brutalized getting stuck in walls, so that should be fixed now. Um, okay. if you, that happens... So, so it took like a, a, a god like Chernabog for it to be fixed. All right. Next up, fix an issue where party leaders would get an incorrect invite declined pop-up after invites were accepted. Yep. Mm, okay. And cool. on to the next couple of oh, quite a few bug fixes this week, guys, just to go through. Spectator fix an issue where all kills appeared as red team kills. Hooray! Yes, that, that is a really lot useful. Cast and no <laughs> At least one spectator fix. I hope the rest of the spectators fix too. Gods who have buffed by it. Skip, this is the best part of the patch notes. I've not it's had this one fixes. Oh, skip forward, key burning has been fixed, and particle FX for which team killed a neutral camp show. Should be more visible now. Okay, so show be more visible. Yes. They should Can't be more show, visible. Show be more visible. Okay, audio. Next is made a pass on a few voice packs and got abilities for consistent. Oh, voice. nice. They made more. Also, we hmm. did do this in 5.11. I'm going to continue doing that. Cool. Forward I like that. We've already seen some of those that affect it. We're going to keep looking at those audio things. Yeah, and there's a full list on the passionate show. Of everything Don't mind me eating a little bit while the less crazy parts going on. Lessons. Next on the list is Baron Samady, who had a bit of a bug. Um, mm -hmm. 
just a little bit that was helping him out. Fix an issue with oh, yeah. somebody gained an additional. Good they fixed it already. Power while that was we apparently that was an old relic an from an earlier test build. Be used while crippled. Now I know that Baron's brew was a thing that was in test, wasn't it? Yeah, when that was when we were first making this character. Yeah, that was supposed to be like his potion, and only he got Social it. Social eating YouTube. To share it. it became like a micromanaging thing where that gave power. It felt like the weird micromanaging thing that you had to do. So that was removed, but Baron Somdi kept it. Right. So that's now removed. He does not get that ten percent power anymore, which should go a long way to helping kind of curve the burst. If you have needs <laughs> to be buffed. <laughs> right, right, because that was all the burst he had. Uh, Kernanos next up fixed the fixed the, the missing FX on cursed King Kernanos. Yep. Also Chernabog fixed an issue where Chernabog could reveal enemies for longer than intended if he died while using his ultimate. That's mm -hmm. interesting. And finally, <laughs> Nasha's <Nacho's laughs> <Nacho's laughs> Sash will no longer go on cooldown if interrupted before it has any gameplay effects. Yep. So if that means when you're throwing it out and it's not connected yet and you get hit, it yep. doesn't go on cooldown. Wow. Correct. Interesting. That's because strong, it actually. Gameplay effect yet. Okay. That happens quite a lot. Next up, then. That's, That's pretty cool. All, all that. We're going quick today, but, you know. Yep. So we also have more bug fixes on the actual passionate show. We just decided to highlight the biggest ones for you guys. So it means on the written professionals, I think. Changes but and bug uh, fixes we've done on the passionates. On to items, then we go. I'm going to go for a few little things here to start things off. Uh, this is the land patch, so that all the yes. pro players we're playing on. So it's going to be one of the smaller patches, which what we do. But we do have uh, all right, mid season. Yep. So mid season's coming up. We have a lot of changes planned for that. Um, this patch is much more focused on addressing a few meta concerns that we have. Right, mid season should be the next one already, huh? We want to see going hmm. forward, a few item adjustments that we want to see going forward to make sure that that's going to be best big. Plan as possible, and then five thirteen, we'll see some of the more bigger, uh, more uh, game direction changes that'll be happening. You can already see reinforced shoes has had a buff. It's going to have increased health from seventy five to one hundred. Mm -hmm. We're also going to be increasing the max passive stacks from six to seven on this. To follow suit, obviously, reinforced shoes and reinforced greaves are the same technical item, just one for magical and one for physical. That's interesting. So have the same buff, physical they obviously haven't been picked much lately, especially with shoes of focus also being buffed, so let's see what so that does. I think the big thing is, we see actually a lot of diversity between the more offensive boots. Uh, Warrior Tabby and Ninja Tabby, as well as the uh, mage boots, they they have a lot of diversity. People are picking them up depending on the situation. Hmm. But the more utility focused ones, the uh, reinforced greaves, the Talarias, they're just underrepresented, and so we're giving them small bumps. To make right, sure Talaria is getting a buff as well. Oh boy. Or their movement speed. Oh boy. Being accounted for. <laughs> okay, well next up is going to be Traveler shoes and Talaria boots. Both of these having a very similar adjustment. Traveler shoes increase magical power from 20 to 25 mm -hmm. on those. A little bit lighter on Talaria boots. Increased physical power from 15 to Merc 20. Merc buff. Obviously, huh. physical power, magical power. <laughs> it yeah. makes a bit of a difference. I can need yeah, that one. a bit of a difference there, but mainly just to make sure that these boots compete. Uh, we made a few adjustments. Uh, Talarias especially were still underperforming compared to Warrior Tabby and Ninja Tabby, and like how many people picked them up and how they're utilized. So no, I understand there, that the problem with Talaria is uh, still that the movement is nice. Traveler shoes was the one that... But the uh, clear is not. Often yep. picking up. So that on kind of power difference there right. makes sense because we don't need to give as much power to those boots because they were already as effective compared to uh, Talarias. Okay. Interesting. That, demonic grip that's Very interesting. Of this patch. We're going to increase the magical power from 50 to 65. Mm -hmm. Quite a lot of power on that now. Yes, so you'll see... Such a niche item. Change is we're looking at magical ADCs. Um, just as a whole, they've all been underperforming. Um, magical ADCs, ADCs were pretty decent very recently, right though. There. They had they their uh, time in the spotlight. A little bit lower than they, it could be otherwise, uh, mainly because demonic grip is the item you want to fit in there, so we're giving a bit of power to help that curve. And then the late game option, the Telkine's ring, is also getting some love, so that they have a more late game option to really help their base guitar. Nobody builds Telkine's, so. though. <laughs> just think it even more so. Yeah. ring, here you go. Here's the, here's the love for it. Increase magical power from 70 to 90. And maybe they build it now. Pass it from 8% to 10%. So oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, maybe they're building it yeah, now. Yeah. That's something that, like, once you actually have a lot of magical power online, maybe you got your Bancrofts online, you have the demonic grip, you got your boots, maybe you get one more power item in there or not. It's like 50 damage if you have 500 power. Hmm. A lot harder. And that's it. Right. Yeah, if you have enough attack speed, I can see that. Yeah, let's have a little look back at the graphic for you all. Okay, buff, could be buff, good. Buff, could be buff, good. Buff. Yep. And again, right buffs too. Yep. no nerfs. No nerfs. And again, this is the 512 patch, and so this is kind of lighter on a lot of things. Sure. Really targeted, like the boots are very targeted to make sure that there's good boot diversity. Magical ADC is underperforming. Uh, we are going to have some really kind of cool things coming in 513, <gasps> like a few changes to gods, oh. um, as well as some new items coming in. Okay. Some small spoilers for mm. 513, but. Um, we can go on to God changes now. Sure. Some of the patches are going to be lighter anyway. You can't have God every single week, can we? Be a bit much. God balance them. We're going to start things off with Artemis, who's been performing pretty mm -hmm. well just lately. She's going to get a bit of a hit, and I think it's a pretty fair one. Caledonian boy. Yeah, that's CC absolutely understandable. From three seconds to 
one point five seconds. So cutting three seconds is one of the longest immunities. I mean, Sam Diaz does much, yes, but like so it's Artemis very long. has really had a resurgence recently, uh, where her ability to poke uh, and trade people effectively, the yeah. early crit, um, using Caledonian Boar and the movement speed from her two and the traps really effectively helps her actually stay kind of safe and really mm -hmm. box her opponents. Um, and three seconds of CC immunity means that it's really hard to, even if you engage on her in a really positive way, three seconds of CC immunity with a movement speed stim and the ability to trap with a stunning boar running around really keeps her alive probably a bit more than she probably deserves to in a lot of situations. And so reducing that means that there's more counterplay opportunity for opponents against Artemis. Next up is Athena, and Athena's going to get a bit of a nerf too. Decreased base damage from the defender of Olympus. Mm -hmm. Aww. It was 350 up to 750. It's now going to be 350 up to 670, so a little bit less at the I top. I understand that absolutely, it because the damage is crazy. 110 scaling down to 90 as you rank this up, but it's going to stay at 110. But that's a jungler. Yep. It's and so, so fun. This is really a targeted change to kind of the global pressure that Athena provides. The ultimate, um, I absolutely understand. So now there's no point in leveling the ult anymore. Athena to do some really crazy things. Sure. You can Over anything but the one. Engage really aggressively, taunt, take a whole bunch of damage for your team, back to base and ult, back to the fight. Uh, at 110 seconds, having that global pressure means that enemy teams can more often play around it. If Athena's used it, teams can take advantage of that. So we're just giving more opportunity for people to play it around Athena. Okay, that's a nice way I want to Athena. And then next up is Baron Samadhi. Now, how's Baron been performing so far? Pretty good. Uh, pretty, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, f a few things that were helping him out were unintended. The potion um, thing, The potion example. thing, for example, he was getting extra damage on his vivid gaze. He was getting 30% on the oh. hit instead of 15% as intended. So we have a few fixes coming I was here told that was intended. Bring his damage more into well, let's see what intended. it's going to be. A few additional nerfs to make it more focused around the utility and control he provides instead of just being very bursty. Well, the Baron is going to have, first of all, his hysteria, as you can see, decreased bonus damage targets. Decreased bonus damage targets take while at max hysteria. Sorry, I could not yes. read that today. From 25% down to <laughs> I feel into on the wording issues. There. Also, Vivid Gaze, as Palm was saying, we fixed Fine. an issue where the second beam hit did 30% of the first. Okay, that means you may want to level the two before the one. Mm -hmm. Which was intended. Consider this. We've also reduced the magical power scale. Depending on the situation. 80% to 70% on top of that. Yep. Not only that, we've also corrected an issue with Rapids Up, his third ability. The one where fix an issue where targets... The one still has a little bit more damage, but the two still has to heal. This is why he'll be so good. Yeah. I mean, he's still... And it's good. easier so to, like, confirm. Now pop on this. Uh, if you're Kabrak and you're one on waves, it, you won't be slow to... Without it. going too far so in. Stuff like that is now working as intended. And last but not least, Life of the Party. We've decreased the base damage on hit from 140 up to Blaze It. Will now be 100 to 380. It's still yeah, got to so be crazy good. changes towards his ability to burst large off the ultimate the old combo. burst is still crazy because of the percentage damage so it doesn't even matter a little bit less especially b the that was 40 damage i'm not gonna the max is relevant bonus is going to be toned down a little bit as well and then if you get someone in the old and then you, you can just on drop your whole kit on them afterwards the anyway so the second hit be doing 15 percent and there's less scaling there so these should really be very good bring his burst more into line yeah. so that we can really see how he performs as this more utility mage where he brings these really powerful effects to the team instead of just bringing burst. That's pretty fair. He should still be pretty good. No, sure. I think he will be okay. Kamazots then is next on the list and uh, a couple of changes here for the young lad in terms of uh, buffs for yep. the young Kamazots. We've increased the base mana on Kamazots from 220 to 240. I guess. Essence Drinker. We've increased the lifesteal and healing bonus. It was 3%. It's going to go up to 6 Oh, wow. The healing the bonus doubled as well. The lifesteal, okay, but so the healing bonus, wow. Cost reduction. It was 60 to 80. It's now going to be 50 to 70, so 10 or more. I don't think Camelot's was... very targeted changes like, towards his ability to actually stay out in the in the game. The early base man... He wasn't meta, but he also wasn't trash. The lower cost on Screech helps to make sure that he can actually poke his enemies more effectively instead of having to all in and then back to base. And then the extra sustain he gets. I guess he must have had some pretty bad stats lately. Healthy and kind of in the middle of a fight. We didn't want to go too much on the damage route to bring him back up because sure. we've seen what that does where he's been a little bit oppressive. Mm. But this kind of nice quality of life to his ability to It's going to make his solo so good. Should help him perform. The sustain if he gets the buff. Okay. After Kamazots, we move on to another C character. It's going to be Chernabog next on the mm -hmm. list. Vicious Barrage, first of all, decrease the attack speed buff from 30 to 70. It's now going to be 20. Very justified. Very reasonable. There. Living nightmare. We've decreased the shadow slow from five percent stacking four times to four percent stacking five. Also times. good. So it's going to be the same amount overall, but take more stacks Correct. and it's It'll a slow attack anyway. Right? And it will take longer. So the big thing here is we've seen him perform very well at the SPL level. Yeah. Um, we've seen him also perform overall. Surprise. In and one thing that he brings to the fight is that global ultimate where it's slowing everyone really effectively. Um, even if it's not the most powerful effect or the media effect, that slow really does add up and allows teams to engage really effectively or to be unable to disengage. 
Um, and so by reducing the amount I still don't of even think it should have the slow, honestly. Increase the stacks, mm. so that takes longer for that to get online. Such good setup. In some situations, it may be better than newer ult with all Gemify stuff. So. As, as impactful as you got hit by one before. So just a, a small tone down to the ultimate, as well as re reducing the amount of attack speed story that he gets from his vicious barrage. That should also make it so that he's a bit more easier to trade with when he dies onto a situation where he has the advantage. Yeah, that's fair. After that, it's on to Fafnir. Fafnir going to get a bit of love this patch, too. Mm. We're going to increase the base HP 5 on this character from 5 to 7. Nice. Underhanded tactics as well. We'll have a decreased mana cost. It was 70, going down to 60. Yep. And last but not least, the cr Draconic Corruption. The mana cost was 100. It's now going to be 70. So mana, really. Yeah, mm. a lot of mana changes here. So the basic That's fair changes. That's not going to change much about the character, but it's fair changes yeah, for sure. Over the, over the time, this kind of base HP5 should also help him stay healthy. And then the mana cost reduction makes sure that, because when he has to transform... Just more form, like he has nice of feeling yeah. to him. So lowering those costs will help him actually, once he transforms, be able to continue his aggression and continue fighting. Keep using those abilities. Yep. And last but not least, on, I on gods this week, I should say, and items, is Mercury. Make you made you look. We're going to decrease the base damage of this ability. It was 90 to 210. In the early game, it's going to go down. It's going to be Especially with a Talari buff, that's good. Five, but still ending at 210. Yep. It's the first couple of levels that really get hit. Well, all the levels outside of the last rank. Yes. So I don't think it's any, to anyone's surprise that Mercury is a pretty good jungler. He has both early game clear. That's very effective. He's mm. one of the faster clears, as well as he has that late game potential. And having both those strengths is something that's kind of really hard to deal with. And we've seen him have a, a big resurgence in popularity and performance. Um, so we're just looking to tone down one of those aspects, and that's the early game clear. He'll still be pretty fast. He still runs around the jungle really quickly. His clear is still really good. But going down from 90 to 70 should make him a bit more comparable with other junglers so they can compete with him more directly early before his late game scaling starts taking him online. One of you guys who have only just started tuning in right now, you've missed the balanced item section, but you can have a little recap of what the gods look like here on your screen. Kamazots and Fafn are going to get a bit of... I think those changes are... And a couple of nerves to some of those... Pretty reasonable. I think Baron Sunday will still be super strong. You yeah. just want to max About the two before the one in many situations now. I'll just reiterate one more time. It's a little bit of a lighter patch at the moment yes. just because we've got but the yeah. summer land coming up and then after the Good. land we do a big changes as always. Yep, well, big, big god changes. changes. Uh, we got big uh, item, new items coming in. Pretty cool stuff. Did you just admit to new items? Yeah, stuff? yeah, it's uh, it's, it's something I can talk about. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun stuff. It's interesting, that's for sure. With that though, that's it for us. But let's head over to Agro, who can break down the skins with some wonderful people on the couch. That was really well, quick. Thanks, Graham. I'm wonderful too, but I know you meant it. You just didn't have to actually say it. Fair enough. All right, on the couch <laughs> joining me, we got a couple familiar faces: Tina and Ben, as per usual, but a new face as well, Chris joining the show. This is your first Patch Notes uh, show, Chris. So first of all, thanks for joining us. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you do at Hi-Rez. Uh, so I'm a technical artist at Hi-Rez, working on Smite. Um, I worked with Hi-Rez Stubbs, or Ashley, who you've seen on the Patch Notes show before. Mm -hmm. I will probably be replacing her on here. You won't see her too much anymore. Oh, no. Is yeah, it, it's so sad. A Ashley's like, she's leaving us forever. That, that yeah. makes yeah. me... Makes me feel sad, but hearts are broken. Chris, you're gonna do a. You're gonna That's do a sarcastic undertone. I'm a wig. You won't know the <laughs> you know, I was gonna yeah. wear a wig. I was gonna say like I'm Ashley, but it, it just didn't work <laughs> out. I forgot. Oh, Sorry. unfortunate. The first what of all, happened the there. Impression. <laughs> Spot on. For, exactly. For I sounded just like her. Yeah, for what it's worth. 100%. Did she make uh, the Smite game tweets? First skin on was the it her? Uh, primal fire <laughs> Aries. Look, th this skin. The detail right away just just jumps off the uh, off the screen art here. Tell me a little bit about this skin, Tina. Um, this skin, well, he is a dragon beast slayer dude. I'm actually uh, more concerned with why she got. <laughs> she's so not gonna be there anymore. Is, what, well, what happened? I wrote him as a character. The way they were talking about it was weird. Kind of like a. Has she was actually behind the tweets. But <laughs> also, um, just grew up from you know starting off really small killing like baby dragons and She's stuff dead with a dragon and then oh uh, man that yeah. would be that would cause and then issues. finally yeah he that's why he has like he's very once you listen to him he's very tries too hard to be cool and mm. just makes fun of everyone and is just a penis um so right he has normal hands all right yeah, now yeah. he's like the so, master yeah. of the dragon killing he has normal hands looks like he's done a good job so far he's covered in dragon scales and things like Aries that. Aries has novel it's hands, cool. guys. A little, a little bit of scaly action there, Ben. Yeah, so uh, we, we were doing exactly what Tina said. I'm not we actually sure if some of his newer dragons. skins have novel hands and already, but novel hands. Special with this. Uh, a lot of the other um, Aries skins you've seen in the past, they have had a certain rig set up mm. for the model that the proportions of his hands were pretty big, and it oh. works pretty well for some skins. 
but not for every skin. So with this one, we really wanted to kind of uh, it's not all hands Ares. Some of the proportions up on his hands to give us a lot more fidelity moving forward with other skins. So like a lot of the teams that a lot, even though it doesn't seem like it's a lot of work, a lot of work went into this one just to change up a little bit of the uh, proportions and stuff. I could honestly make his that the default for him, but hey. Bit more, like, yeah. defined, You'll yeah. appreciate it like when you start seeing the animations, like he looks a lot more natural and less like uh, stylized. And again, the, uh, the I'm noticing this more and more with, with skins that we're putting out, the, the ultimate sounds in particular, but just the sound design in general, just sounds a lot more. I like this, this is kind of the same listen. thing we'll as the we'll Sobek so skin. I, I think it's cool. I'm a fan. Like that build up is yeah. so cool. Just the build so up makes it easier to know when to beats exactly cool though. In. Really awesome sound as well. And, and, and the effects, the little like blue and orange. Ups and downs. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainly fit nicely there with the overall theme of the skin. Let's uh, let's take a listen to the voice back. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Do that again. Huh. Impressive. I'm the Beast Slayer! See that dragon over there? It is not very bright. <laughs> Amazing. You really fell for that bait. Ladies love a big sword. <laughs> I whip it out and everyone faints. It must Take be a look. that intimidating. I cut off the beast's head. Uh, now I'm wearing it. Must be that intimidating. Don't worry. <laughs> I cleaned it out first. Now let me take a look. <laughs> that is one long oh, joke, man. though. You can really tell he grew up in a broken home, can't you, Tina? <laughs> Tina had a whole yeah, lot of fun with that one. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a little bit too what much. What a poor lad. Yeah, what a... You know what I'm talking about? What? He has to compensate for everything. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh, we got to give a shout-out to the 2D concept. Oh, I like the chain Tim. This yeah. is animation a, as well. This is a the, really, really glowing awesome... Be, chain like, part the, into the, the modeling in general. The, I really like the skin. I really like the design of this. Really cool. Did a great job. Uh, the animation. No, no more need for the Ares to five skin, guys. We, we we got this one now. To make this one work. Don't vote Ares. <laughs> really, really good. That is primal fire Ares. Let's move on to one of the divine uprising event skins, Baroness Izanami. This is a skin that uh, should look pretty familiar if you've been playing Smite at all. I'm sure you've seen plenty of a Baron in your games. He's kind of everywhere right now and. Izanami's getting getting in on the cosplay action here, I guess. Yeah, yeah, she's uh, cosplay. Action. Basically, uh, Baroness's Baron's. Uh, Be very careful. Lady. Uh, Friend, lover. We can say that. We can go with. You, yeah, Tina, or sister, or sister. Oh, <laughs> I, I mean, no, no. I mean, we're not. Well, I mean, concubine, you know. No, no, no. We're not, not. Don't put them together. I mean, oh, okay. like we, they are. They, they hang look out. Very similar. So they could sure. be any one of those. They three. spend a lot of time together. Yes. What their relationship is is, is actually the style. Of for some reason, it gives me a bit right. of a Matt Moxie yeah. vibe yeah. because of the face paint and exactly. the cleavage and all. <laughs> you don't need actually, to put a label I actually on. get a lot of uh, Borderlands feels here. Baroness Izanami. Can you smash that like button if you get Borderlands feels too? With this skin in particular. Uh, well, Izanami is always a difficult character to work with because her sickles uh, go in and out of combat. They'll disappear. And so we have a lot of issues on the animation tree side of things, making sure they actually show up in the game. Um, if you guys what? remember back, Uller had some issues with disappearing axes on his T5 mm -hmm. skin. We have a similar type of issue with Izanami, so we have to be really careful. I don't actually understand how that's related to the skin, so. Right, whenever they're throwing that orange sort of uh, factor there, and so that that orangish glow, certainly part of this ultimate as well. Really, uh, this this color scheme that that Baron has and that this skin has for Izanami just just looks so good. It just looks so clean. I like yeah, the style. I like the visual effects as well. The yellow job on this ish sure. tone. Baroness good skin. Izanami. One that, uh, I'm happy that's in the of alongside in the bundle, also. basically. Listen to that voice pack. So we don't have to. Well, if you're going for the T5, you're getting it anyways, basically. Guide your hands. Excellent. They confide in me. Are you here for the ritual? Are you the sacrifice? <laughs> I love the voice pack. Your future don't be showing much promise. Yes, blame it on karma. It totally wasn't my spells, curses, and voodoo. My last lover was a freak, so I freaked him back. Blame it on Khan. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't what? know if it was last update show or the one before that, but I shared with you, chat, that whenever Tina really likes a voice pack that she worked on, she'll just wait, she'll just stare at me and give me this weird look. <laughs> 
until I end up reacting. And I got and I got some of that here. Th this was a fun voice back to work on here, Tina. Yeah, it was really fun. It was really fun. Um, I, I can I see really that. Try and like do the accent that I want the actor to be doing <laughs> mm. in my head. Okay. So before I even cast them, so this this was ex exceptionally fun for me. And this one, in, in the in the act, voice actor for this did a good a good. You got the the accent that you were looking for. Oh yeah. Oh, the, yeah. the lady, lady clear. Sounds really cool. Let yeah. me know for a free reading. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm hearing the whole time. Sort of, sort of similar there. I see where you're going with that, Ben. All right, next skin on the list: Shadow Spirit Opwash. Again, this mm. as well part of the device. This looks so good. Event. Also like this. part of the uh, the namesake of this update show, which is uh, that Cyber Shadow. We'll get the second half of that. Well, I guess the first half. This is the second half in the next skin. But this one, I, I kind of teased it on the opening of the update show. There are things about this skin that just feel so good. And the first thing that jumped out to me is that, like, unstable sort of nature that you see with the texturing of the face. So what went into to making that oh, happen? Oh, right, So that's that's a lot of complicated uh, technical talk. But basically, <laughs> in the material, we just have uh, – there's a lot of material work in that. And there's a bunch of offset things that are undulating back and forth. So we just kind of had two different ones that kind of move at different timings. So it creates this Honestly, like I would not even be mad. It's on, unsettling. Yeah, yeah. If they made it this really thing in like, like five different yeah, colors. No, zoom they out. made a red and green and <laughs> yellow <laughs> version or whatever. It goes with those animations, it's right? so cool. Yeah. Yeah. are all like creepy, so it's like it's perfect. Right. I mean, th everything about this skin is just so unsettling and it's perfect. This makes me feel like I'm playing some sort of cool indie of game like Visual Spice. fitted so perfectly as well. Oh my god. Absolutely. And I mean, honestly, just big shout out to the modeling team. This sucks so cool. Oh my god, even the cops look really cool. Um, I oh. love how they warble all over yeah. the place. It's it's so great. Hey, yeah, all the all the minions have. Look at the skin. Same oh, kind of like it's so spooky. It is. This might even be too spooky it for me. It's so cool. It's UV distortion for anybody mm -hmm. out there that's interested. There you go. The little bit of technical yeah. jargon. Bringing out the big words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. This skin really really Ooh. awesome. It's some shadow it spirit. Really good too. It has like yeah. really cool effects. I think uh, Chris. Yes, yeah, his mask uh, as well. Stuff. Show a while back. He, he killed it. Man, the, this yeah. stuff is. It's freaking me out already, in the best way, of course. All of those, uh, all of those effects have. Oh, like the the mock as well. Mark you even get the cool face on the fleeting breath. Show me the ultimate. Nice little touch, as always, for those opwash skins. Here's the ultimate. Oh, okay, that's not too much of a. Oh, okay. Yeah, even actually, the sound effects are. Freaky. Yeah. They're a bit yeah. changed. Spooky. I like the blue effect, like, anyways. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be walking. But it still like, looks you know, a bit more like other abilities, like normally. <laughs> I'm gonna stay up past my. I wanna see the masks. Yes. I'm gonna be uh, heading to bed, and I'm that gonna hear cool. this noise and um, some some blue glow in the background. Yeah. Light blue. Oh shit! I'm just gonna lose my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna lose it. I can't keep it together. The little slow mo on the ultimate there. Oh, the voice as well. Man, this skin is freaking me out. Let's go to the voice pack so it can probably freak oh, me out wow. a little bit more. Woohoo! You're doing well. Fantastical. Uh, I am fun. He sounds like Bonnie Stinson with a voice modulator. Somewhere. I'm not even kidding. Have you come to face your fate? He sounds like 100% Bonnie this. Stinson. We could have a dance off, and if I win, I get to claim your firstborn child. Sound fun? And a bit more fucked up. For the longest time, I never thought people were real until you showed up. <laughs> okay. So at first, I thought I was like, I heard the voice back. I was like, oh, he's uh, he's not as scary as I thought. Super friendly. No, nope. this guy's a psychopath. <laughs> yes. So I. So yes. his story is that he's like he's like really cute so you want to like you know come up to him and pet Wait, him Wait, you think that's really cute? Yes, like he has like <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Like, he's he's the big What's that? What's that? Why are we he's petting him? He's really cute, you know, like he's in this tree and he's staring down at you and his eyes are glowing. You're like, "Oh." <laughs> and then he comes out and eats your face. Right? Fun disagrees. Yeah. This is him. This is what I imagined because it's <laughs> it's like the voice is so innocent, but then he's like it won't hurt your child dead. Yeah, see. Oh, yeah, I see all right. <laughs> I, I, I got there. I, I sure did. This skin spooks me. Uh, it just way. got a lot creepier, too. It yeah. really did. <laughs> I'm actually so glad this is in the, in the I really, and I got chest so thing. I by it. Yeah. At first, face, I really dude, thought that face. it was like, it was going to be nice. Really and I was like, oh, okay. record it, too. Man. I missed the chance. That was, uh, that was spooky. This one's going to be fun. All right, the next skin on the list, Cyberfox. Dodgy, the other part of this Cyber Shadow update in 5.12. This as well, 
part of the divine uprising. I want to see that ult now. This one, yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Has, it, based on what they it, said. For as spooky as the last one was, this one is just badass. We yes. try to really have a nice range in this one. Yeah, yeah exactly. I usually like don't like the, the cyber skin set much, but this like one. A, like cyber, like sci-fi kind of look for this one. Could well, have gone uh, with longer hair. She could have this, made it even more sombre. <laughs> technical know-how, you know. Yeah. You don't. You don't get to have little like fiber optic wire tails like yeah. that. Yeah. I think the hair is not as cool here as I thought it would know? be. Yeah. That would be like gotta, hanging out to the that. side. Chaos is a but still pretty cool. Do this once he like ascends in his coding prowess. <laughs> he's already working on his tail. The first tail already popped out. I've yeah, exactly. He's the <laughs> yeah chaos, the one tail. They actually really freak me out because they remind me of tapeworms. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tina. That is something I will literally Just like never nine forget. Nine tapeworms. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I'm there. We got it from the first time you said it. We sure did. Yeah, okay, I, I really like I the, the art of this one better than the in-game model. In I gotta say. Well. Yep. But still pretty is cool. a character that that at base doesn't seem like she's gonna have a lot of effects going on, Chris. But the the team always somehow. I think there was some more like potential behind this. On there. Seeing how yeah, the other dodgy skins look. And, and you can't see it here, but her intro lobby, she's got a lot of uh, glitchiness, like uh, teleportation effects on her as well that are really, really... They cool. are really so just, the idea just, just to step in deep into the water of possible dodgy. copyright strikes again. That's really awesome. Oh, yeah. Here's the alt. So I love the little, the blue, the blue oh. characters. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, rough. They got much harder to see. The chains are so hard to see compared to normal alt. That's going to be a problem. Shout out to the EDM Nox. Like up there, the singer oh, yeah. one. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh wow. What okay, that's your really cool. Legacy. What is your legacy? What's what's the significance of that? Um. Is it just like your typical like EDM like? Somebody got to translate that. Make what you it think says about on there. something while you're dancing, sort of thing. Like that's what EDM. I, I think does it's right. something like that. Maybe it's the hit single that EDM right. Knox put out. Oh okay. Maybe. Uh, all right. I'm liking this backstory <laughs> already. Then I'm, I'm liking where you're going with it. This is Wait, a really is that clock really on there? I bet you that the accurate. Do the dodgy powwow is like the spot where you got to put all the extra stuff in, it feels like. And it's a whole lot of work. Those things are separate models. Like it's oh, a really? Whole, yeah, it's a whole lot of work to do that stuff. Especially with that one, it's, there's so much effects and like it's its own character on its own. Yeah, it feels like it. <laughs> Only without that's, actual uh, movement. That's really, really awesome there. Three man pull. Big play. I like the effects, but I wish the ult was a little bit more visible. Badass. Pond, let's take a listen to that voice pack, shall we? That was dope. I'm the best there is. You are all a waste of time. Why am I even here? I'm too advanced for this. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to kick some ass. She's okay, sassy. for serious. How do you guys live without Wi Fi? Do you just stare at it? I don't. The, you all look like you just. The voice ring doesn't seem RPG. fitting. Where am I again? It's like catching old people. I, I don't want to like say anything wrong here, but it does not people. sound like what she looks like. That's that's what it's like, huh? <laughs> it sounds like they wanted to make the somber voice pick, but wanted to avoid the copyright strike if they went with like a Spanish accent. Ah, okay. Oh, now okay. I'm there. I'm, I'm like not sure about that. Young and millennial. <laughs> <laughs> She's a young millennial. Oh, this, is this is how Tia talks the whole time. <laughs> this is better yeah. than the alternative. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I suppose so. That is Cyber I think the Shadow Spirit one is actually cooler. One of I think the, this can uh, have more potential, but the in-game version is just not as great. So. Update show. Unfortunate. Thank you guys very much for joining us. Chris, got to say, for the first update show, great job, my friend. Yeah, happy to be here. Always happy to jump on camera. Awesome. Well, uh, we're going to head it over to Gabby and Isaiah to go over some awesome stuff happening in the community. Hey guys, Liz Igris here with Isaiah for your community segment. First of all, how you doing? I'm doing good, how about you? Pretty good, just saw some sweet skins. Which yeah. one's your favorite? Definitely the Airy skin. Yeah. That armor is like A1, it's like he just went out, slayed the dragon, forged armor from it, so cool. I think I've learned that my favorite part about that segment is the lessons learned from Tina, including that the big sword is to primal fire Ares as cars are to humans. Definitely. And then that those tails are actually tapeworms. Yeah. So I become a little bit more knowledgeable every single time we That's hear that right. segment. You know, uh, we talk around the office of just taking quotes from Tina and writing a book, and we would make so much money because yes. she's got some real life lessons. It needs to happen. But of course, we do have some updates for you. First of all, on the <laughs> esports <laughs> side, as well, some of you know, in the United States, it's a holiday on Wednesday, July 4th. So our broadcasts for Smite 
will be taking place on other days. They're not canceled, they're just moved throughout the week. And if you want to take a look at the standings on how things are going in the SPL, moving into week number six, that's what we got for you right there. So uh, make sure that you're keeping for it locked on our official website for any of the information you need where you can catch those broadcasts. And then, of course, for account linking, I want to give you an update on that. We are still working to make that possible. We want to ensure that it works properly on all platforms as we roll it out to you so that information as it becomes available can also be found on the website. But that's pretty much it for eSports. Pretty light this week. What do yeah. we got on community side? So it's light for eSports. We've got a ton of stuff going on in the community. So as you said, next Wednesday is a holiday. Uh, so we'll be taking a break here at the office, but uh, somebody else is going to be taking a break. Oh. You guys voted during the spring fling to disable Loki, and that day will be on Wednesday, July 4th next week. So make sure to call your friends. If Loki is the bane of your existence, next Wednesday is the time for you to log in and play some Smite. <laughs> hop into Arena, hop into <laughs> Omnipotence. It's going to be a great day. I feel like he's got to get pretty lonely at some point how much just hate he's been know, getting right? from yeah. everybody. <laughs> so. Yeah, I tend to be a bit sympathetic, and yeah. he's pulling at my heartstrings a little Definitely. bit. Yeah, and he uh, he kind of got word of what we we're doing, and uh, he's uh, he's an angry god, uh, so he kind of stormed into high res, and he's slashing prices like left and right right now. Oh, really? So like right now, you guys can actually get gym packs up to thirty five percent off. Well, oh, that's he's nice a though. Happy god, he's slashing prices left and right. You can get gems. Up Is to this uh, propaganda to convince us that Loki's actually cool? On July fourth, so. Uh, be sure to but the gem sale is good for anyone uh, considering to get the Bologna skin. Uh, so, well. it's nice. Yeah, you might as well buy it before it's too late. It's one of those things that if you forget about it and then you go in and you're thinking, I want to save some money today. Right. Oh, wait, it's done. Cool. So don't let that happen. Cool. But so what yeah, else we got? Next up, I just want to remind you guys for our Smite Xbox players, we've got an awesome deal going on with Games with Gold. Now until July 15th, you can get the Smite Gold Bundle to get $100 worth of Smite content for free as long as you're an Xbox Live Gold member. Get 20 gods, 30 skins, voice packs, global emotes, tons of great stuff. It's an awesome bundle. Tons of people have been hitting me up on Twitter saying how good of a deal it is. Oh, yeah. That's how you know. Yeah. They hit you up on social media. Right. Uh, anything else that we got? This is the best part of news. So as you guys know, we've been doing voting rounds for this year's Ultimate Odyssey Reward, the Tier 5 skin. We started voting on Monday. We got all the way down to the semifinals between four guardians, Ganesh and Cerberus and Ares versus Athena. And I'm happy to announce that your final mm. two will be Ganesh and Ares. So starting now, no. we're going to have a vote out. Uh, no. Oh, no. no. I wanted a server so or Athena. I mean, I wanted Ares or Athena, I guess. We want to hear, uh, we hear what But you Ares actually just got us uh, such a good skin. skin. Like, if Ares, skin. if they would have released the Ares skin Any before, I think this would have looked different. Which direction you think it's uh, going to swing? Oh, well. Ares. Yeah. Ares is like one well, of I guess Ares is getting too good skins. Like one then. of the OGs, one of my first diamonds, so I'm definitely going Ares. I feel like I've heard a lot of people. I'm actually so surprised well. those I two were too. I need to hear some Ganesh love as well. Just I'm to, sure there's to some Ganesh balance. love. Yeah. Community, be vocal. But is that everything that we yeah, have on the community everything. side then? Yeah, that's awesome. it. Awesome. Lots of updates there. That's why we kept it light on the esports right. side because yeah. we had a lot on community exactly. side. But thanks for joining us here for the update show. It was a pretty light one overall, but some interesting stuff to come out. I'm excited to look at those skins when they're available. So everybody will leave you to it. Stay cool, friends. I probably saw that tracksuit. <laughs> Stay cool, friends. That's, that's a nice... Uh, Way to end it. <laughs> Just gonna turn up the volume here a little bit. Don't want to get copyrighted. <coughs> All right, that's it for the patch notes. Again, for those of you who want to see the more condensed version where I can talk about certain aspects a little bit more as well, being the patch note review that will be coming in a bit as soon as the patch notes are up, the written patch notes. And other than that, not much left to say. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope to see you all for the next one later, possibly, or tomorrow. Duke Sloth. Out.